Hello guys and welcome back to Arcanum, where I just noticed, just by going through this, uh, that our journey's nearly lasted two years already. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, it started January 1st, 1885, so yeah, nearly a year. Just thought that was cool and thought I should point that out. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of time. Um, right, so let's get into Kintara. I mean, if they, they let me. Uh, yeah, greetings to you. Okay. I wonder if that would be uh, different for non-elves. Probably would be, wouldn't it? Level 40 elf guards. Okay. Can't seem to speak to him, but guess we'll, uh, well, go talk to everyone, I guess. Okay. Just, you know, seeing what the layout is. This is... Hmm, so... It's basically just split into two parts, isn't it? Yeah, it's just four down, and then there's three up. So I guess I'll do the up ones first. Will make sense. Hello. Uh, might I ask your name? Mr. Wind. Master of the Hunt. Ah, so another master, eh? Mm, Bowmaster, probably. Would make sense, being an elf. Bit too logical, I guess, but... Uh, the pleasure is mine. You said you were Master of the Hunt? Oh, okay. Um, are there a lot of hunters here? In Kintara? Uh, the hour is this late, or this much, or however you say that. Oh, the dark fence. Yeah, that sounds nice. Um, well, that's worrisome then. Uh, maybe I can go out and look for him? Elven Chainmail. Now. Done. <laughs> done for sure. Uh, I hope you actually marked that on my map, but I guess we'll uh, we'll see. So what's this thing? Oh, I guess it's a house? Strange house. I ask who you are. Swift. Uh, yes. Yes, I am an adventurer. Why do you ask? I have. Uh, why would I want to be a guide? Uh, <laughs> you should not... Well, she clearly doesn't know that I don't know my way around Tehran at all. I've just been there a lot of times. I still don't know my way around, but... What did you have in mind? Why do you want to go there? Uh, sure. She's she's probably a kid, isn't she? Um, okay. Are you prepared to leave now? Let's go. So she's not a companion. She just will follow us for now. Hmm. Uh, I get the feeling that's going to lead somewhere, but I guess we'll uh, find out. I'm going to start at the left here and, well, if there even is anyone here to talk to. No, they're definitely not a big community, I can say that much. Oh, hello, dwarf, living among the elves. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised to see a dwarf here. Um, yeah, I'm looking f uh, to find the elves responsible for banishing the uh, Black Mountain Clan. Raven. Okay. Uh, who's Raven? Ah. 
Yeah, you say you were a mage. That's a bit usual, is it not? Well, yes, clearly that's why he lives here. Hmm, you sound as you might want to leave. So what is your, uh, yeah, what is your term for your contract? Wrath, okay. Yeah, well, didn't you know they live very, very long? Um, yeah, why did you agree to such a very, very long service contract? Uh, well, why don't you just walk, uh, you know, walk out? Hmm. Um. Perhaps I can talk to him. Yeah, I'm pretty good at persuading people, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I'll be on my way. Let's see if I can... Nope. I guess I uh, picked wrong. Guess I picked wrong. Sounds like an interesting tale, but screw myself out of it. Yeah, there really are not a lot of people here. It's really strange coming from, you know, Tarant or something. Come on, get out, out, Thank you. out, out, please, out. <laughs> no need to get stuck. I guess that's what you get when you have so many. Oh, Wrath is dead. Um, you see that body of Wrath, German's mentor. There seems to be no sign of violence or a struggle. This empty wine glass has a strange, pungent odor. Well, yoink, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, I guess we'll go walk over to him then. Be like, hey, here's a glass. Which, well, really is... I don't know. It's gonna tell him something, I guess, but... Would be more helpful to tell him to, you know, walk along with me for, uh, you know, I can show you that you can go freely. Oh, there's also an elf guard. Oh. Okay, so that's neat. That's neat. Uh, murder? Who's he meant to have killed? Doesn't prove he killed him. Um. Uh, elves like us? Are there other types of elves? Um. Actually, I do not. Excuse my ignorance, uh, how was he killed, if I may ask? So no weapons. What about magic? Quenched life would have done the trick. Hmm, okay, so that's all very interesting. May I go in and speak with him now? Uh, yeah, sure. Go listen in all you want. Hmm. Uh, well, let's not immediately say that I 
do not believe he's done it. Cause he very well might have. Uh, so why did you kill him? To be released from your contract? I believe him for that. Um, well, if you didn't kill him, who did? The guard said you wouldn't kill with a weapon or with magic. So, technology? Well, I guess no. Uh, I guess poison? That would be... Yeah, that would be too logical, right? Um, just Well, there's just this glass. There's a strange odor to it. Poison. Yay. Sharp in Kintara. Mm. Sure, I'll give it a go. Um, for a fee. Gonna be an asshole about it. Staff of Xoran. I do not know if that's good or not, but uh, I accept your offer. Good day. Figured I'd uh, make a quick save. Right, let's go to the uh, southern part of town, I guess. Oh, well, that looks like an important house. Yeah, that's. I bet that. Yeah, Elf no, but it's totally uh, Raven then. Yep. Bunch of guards. Well. Greetings, stranger. What is it you need? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. No, you're correct. We've never met. Uh, okay. So, what is your name, madam? My name is very old and very long. Perhaps it would be best if you simply called me Raven. He could have just simply said so, but okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, do you have a moment? Of course. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Certainly. How can I help you? Uh, well, I have to speak with the Silver Lady. The Silver Lady? Oh, you mean my mother. That's quite a request, and one not so easily granted. Even for an elf? I mean, I am one of you. That might very well be. But you're not from here, and I'm very cautious when it comes to who sees my mother. She may be our queen, but I oversee the daily matters here in Kintara. Mm, I see. So how can I convince you uh, to let me see her? You'll have your chance. Forgive me if I seem a little abrupt, but I have many things on my mind today, and there's much to be done. Once I've taken care of some of the more pressing matters, I'll talk with you about your needs. Uh, well, can I help then? Speed things uh, along? Why, yes. It's always a pleasure to work with an elven sister from the outside. We'd love to have your help. Mm, so, what can I do? There is a group of humans camped about a day's journey from here. We know not what they want, but where humans go... Trouble usually follows. You do know that, you know, Virgil here is human. You know, just pointing that out. Uh, what would you like me to do? The place they are camped at is called Falcon's Egg, and it is considered a holy place for the elves of Kintara. We would like you to find out why the humans are there and remove them. Uh, well, let me just ask you a few questions. Of course. What would you like to know? How do I get there? It's not far from here. I'll mark your map with the location. You actually have to ask. Damn, that's I bet that's fucked uh, fucked over a lot of people just Oh damn, I just got this quest and I have no clue how to get there. <laughs> um Yeah, I've got a few more questions. Of course. What would you like to know? Uh what sort of place is this Falcon's Ache? Falcon's Ache, as I told you, is Elven Holy Ground. Many years ago, there was an Elven Queen, and her name was Falcon. She was out hunting one day, and with her bow shot a stag. When she had caught up with it, it was lying next to a pool of water, slowly bleeding from a wound in its side. So, what happened? The stag spoke to her. 
And within it were the spirits of the elves who had become the soul of the stag, and with her arrow she had pierced both it and them. And they were both sad and afraid, as the stag's life was their own. And when it died, so would they. So what did Falcon do? She could do nothing. She sat with the stag's head in her arms, sang its stories, and washed its wound with her tears. And the ache in her heart grew as the old elven voices faded. Grew so much that when they finally passed, she passed with them. <laughs> she died out of sadness and empathy. Really. Now that's quite a tale. <laughs> I've literally never heard this such a ridiculous thing. Uh, well, that's a sad story. Uh, a few more questions about this then. Of course. What would you like to know? Uh, so how do you want me to remove these humans? It doesn't matter to me how you remove them, but you must understand this. Under no circumstances are you to shed blood on that ground. The spirits there exact their price and you do not want to pay it. Do you understand? Do not raise your hand against another. Yeah, I figured that. Just wanted to make sure. Of course. Um, what would you like to know? I'll take the job. Splendid. Are you sure you understand what needs to be done? There are a few things that are very important that you know. Uh, okay, sure. Of I'll course. What would you like to know? Um, no. That's literally everything I could ask, so... Splendid. Are you sure you understand what needs to be done? There are a few things that are very important that you know. I think of you've told me everything. I'll be back when it's done. Good. I thank you for your help. So it just goes, uh, well, before you can, you know, continue along the main storyline, you first have to get access to that. Or hell, this probably is part of the main storyline then, right? Guess I should count towards that. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, good elf. Might ask who you are. Element. That's kind of a cool name. Uh, a pleasure, Element. Uh, might I ask what you do here in Katara? With a medal. Okay. Um, now you can see where you get wood, but where do you get metal? Hmm. Uh, apparently I do have some mithril right here. Um, yeah, sure. Here you go. Mm, will you allow me a few more questions? Well, just trading. There you go. Um, so, Element's Bow. I'd like to be able to just compare that. Doesn't seem to fit, though. Alright, so 112, 39. It is a lot of more crit against animals. And very magical. Same with that, though. This one's got a... Well, this one's better in general. That one's better against animals. Alright, it's not bad. Ooh, that elven chainmail. That is, uh... Huh. It's worth getting. Or, looks like it. Bet that looks cool as well. Mm, of course, they have nature protection as well. Mm, scrolls of exiting. He buys that bow for 22. Well, that's just great. That's just wonderful. Um, yeah, wow, those prices seem really fucked. Um, yeah, this guy does not want to buy anything that I uh, have to offer, so. You might be sharp. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm looking for sharp. Oh, I figured Sharp was a woman. 